Hey there. How y'all doing, Reader Boos? It's nice to see you today. It's a lovely day here in the GCC where I am currently living and working. And I am popping in because it's time for another book review. I am loading, uploading two book reviews today because I'm a little bit behind. I have been neglecting my audience. And I just wanted to give you a little something extra since I've been absent here recently but don't worry we're about to get right back on track with regular weekly book reviews now again i'm mariah violet you know me because i wrote laid over in dubai and i also wrote adored in oman my third novel has been turned in and will be part of an anthology soon to be released sometime in the next nine days i of course will be shamelessly plugging it here in the next few days now but in the meanwhile let's get to today's book today's story is a collection it's an anthology of black erotica the name of it is erotique noir black erotica this is the cover there you go i'm gonna move it in so you can see it got a little bit of a glare going on and first of all i'm gonna begin I'm going to read you one of the poems. I, I'm a fan of erotica, as you know, because that's what I write. I write other things, but currently I've been pub published in the erotica and romance genre. Um, one of my favorite poems is in here. Actually, a couple of my favorite poems are in here. I'm going to read the one written by M.J. Morgan. It's called My All Day Sucker. I loved my all day sucker. He was my best fucker. He could suck, lick, and fuck until day's end. You took my all-day sucker, and I thought you were my friend. Just because I told you he bathed me in oils and loved my every curve, didn't mean you should try it. You know you've got some nerve. All I ever dreamed of was a man that could lick my luscious body till it overflowed. Seems like you couldn't stand it. I saw how you glowed. I loved my all-day sucker like a baby loves the nipple. Never thought I'd lose him. How could I be so simple? No, I've learned my lesson. Next time I get an all-day sucker, I ain't going to tell no motherfucker. That is an example of one of the poems you can find in this wonderful collection. There are also a few essays delving into the theme of erotica, and it's worth the read. It's a really good good collection and I have owned it for a number of years but when I sold everything I owned and moved across the world to pursue my career um, I got rid of almost my entire collection of books I gave away well over 21 boxes of books to half price bookstore in Cedar Hill Texas yes I did oh so many books so many books and but I did keep this one I just didn't bring it with me it's in storage at a location I won't name <laughs> because you know sometimes people do anything to get a good book but really what's happening here today is we're going to talk about it first of all some amazing erotic poetry you have some amazing short stories very beautifully written some of it's very nasty and explicit some of it's much softer um, there's a poem an invitation to dinner which I just adore it is a wonderful wonderful poem and if I were married and celebrating an anniversary I would write that poem out by hand and send that to my husband just because it's so lovely and it's a great way to kick off an evening at home um, or even prepare for an evening out just to build the suspense and the tension and the excitement and to get everybody in the right frame of mind to celebrate a love um, I do encourage those of you out there to invest in this, the book. It's really, really a great read. I wouldn't say that it's um, something you would necessarily travel while reading, but it's a great before bed time reading. It's great beach reading just because it's so very titillating. And it's actually a good book club book because it gives you an opportunity to, to discuss some of the themes in erotica and particularly particularly I'm going to go there's something about foreplay by Intozaki Shange, Shange and um, there's also the Afro-Hispanic triptych three women 
and it was translated by Ian Smart. It was written by Manuel Zapata Olivella. Prayerfully, I pronounced all of that correctly. Um, it's about a secret tryst between a young black man and an older white woman. And it takes place in a room above a stable. It's a really good story. I enjoy it. Um, I encourage everyone to check out the book. And there's also a little bit of scholarly writing in here as well. Forbidden Fruits and Unholy Lusts, Illicit Sex in Black American Literature. And I know that sounds like heavy reading, but it's really quite interesting because it talks about how sex has been portrayed in Black American literature over time. And um, it talks about the themes in erotica written by and for our people. And I, I suggest you check it out because it's definitely... Uh, some scholar, there are some scholarly writings in here, but the poetry is just top notch. It's it's excellent, and it's definitely worth a read. So do check it out, and you know, comment down below. Let me know what you thought about it. Let me know if you've read it before. Uh, my friend Nakayla actually introduced me to the book. Uh, Nakayla Lockett is her name, and she's the one who said, "Nature, you have to check this out." This has been oh gosh many moons ago, more than 10 years, probably more than 15 years ago. I have had owned this book for some time, but I have never regretted investing, and I reread it fairly often. Um, and that's why I included it in my, my video reviews, because I feel like a lot of people may not have had the opportunity to be exposed to it, and you really should check it out. It's great writing. And of course, everyone should own a great book of poetry, and not just limit it to some of the things you might have be more familiar with as it relates to uh, Baldwin and Hughes and Nicky or even what they call the classics, Frost and Brown and Shakespeare. You definitely can open it up a little bit. Check out this, this book, Black Erotica. It's really, really good. Let me know what you think. Of course, you can find me on Twitter, Mariah Violet. And of course, Facebook.com. Wordsmith, Mariah Violet, that's where I am. I look forward to seeing you and hearing you, hearing from you there on social media. And do come by. There will be more reviews in our future. Have a great day.